Hi Gemini, welcome to your love life reading. This is for couples and singles for, well, sorry I'm late for you guys. It should have been mid-August to end of August, but we're going to do last week of August through first week of September because I will have your September readings coming really soon. So this is for singles and couples. This flew out before I could start shuffling healing family issues. So some of you maybe have a few family hangups, have some family issues that you haven't quite released that perhaps are blocking you from taking another deeper, more committed step in your relationship. So Gemini, this is for the last week of August, first week of September. Okay, remember that this is a general reading. Not all general readings will resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And I'm sorry if they do not resonate. It just was not meant for you, but perhaps the next one will be. So let's get started. We'll do singles and then we'll do couples. So what is going on for straight up Gemini singles? What do they have going on? Excuse me. Well, you got problems communicating, that's for sure. Wow. And on that note, let your friends help you. So, <clears throat> last week of August, first week of September. Let me get one more card. Let your friends help you. You've got some kind of passion for someone, but I'm feeling like you're a bit stalled in your relationship not a relationship because I'm doing for singles more so there is someone that you are very passionate about of wanting to have a new beginning however I feel as though there are things from your past or your childhood that aren't allowing you to, to have this new beginning it's as though something from your childhood from your past from your family issues is what's blocking you from manifesting something new. So what is going on with straight up single Geminis? Tell me, what do they need their friends helping them with? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They want you to be honest with yourself. They want you to really communicate to them. What kind of help is it that you need, right? She's that passionate queen that's probably either you or someone in, in your area that you're just like dying to hook up with, dying to start dating, just you fumble over your words, you're not quite sure how to handle it, you feel some kind of way for this person. And this person is very confident, very confident. They know that what they want is equal give and take and she won't take anything less than that. So when you look into your future and you start thinking about how am I going to manifest this, well, let your friends help you. Admit, hey, I really dig this person. I really like this person. And if at this rate I can't even speak up and have my friends help me, I'm going to always be straight up single, right? Because what you're thinking of planning for your future is that ten of pentacles. So... Are you going to sit around in confusion contemplating what could or could be, could or could not be, what you were just so close to manifesting but somehow failed to? There is an internal blockage here. Let's get to the bottom of that. Yeah, see, Four of Cups, there's an internal blockage here. This is you still thinking about whatever issues you have from the past. W look at that. The cards are just reinforcing exactly what I'm talking about. It is self-imposed imprisonment. You are thinking and overthinking issues from either your childhood or um, past relationships. Perhaps there were some control issues in the past. Perhaps you come from a dysfunctional family, but you're afraid of repeating what was an example for you in the past. And so you need to get clear with yourself and you need to talk to your friends, really lean on them and talk to them and figure out how can I move forward 
you know, how can I leave this all behind? Look at that. How can I leave this all behind? I want to move forward. Well, the universe is saying, yes, wish fulfillment is on its way. Dang, Gemini, look at that. Wish fulfillment and love offers. Hello. I like the sound of that, Gemini. Can I be Gemini for a second? <laughs> you got passion coming in. There is a very strong, passionate connection with someone. It could also be someone from your past. I also feel for the majority of you, the majority of you Geminis, this is someone that you were very interested in, have a great connection with. This person just made themselves like super duper available. Like they practically did cartwheels in front of you saying, hey, look at me, ask me out. And like six months go by and you're like still waiting. They're still waiting for you to ask them out. But I feel that now you're mustering up the courage to speak what you got to say. But I need you to graduate from that page of wands to that king of wands because that page of wands gets all fired up in thought only in thought, has ideas, has these great ideas and then doesn't follow through. Yeah, the love's there. You got wish fulfillment. Universe is moving you towards this passionate new beginning or an opportunity that you once lost, right? You had a missed opportunity that you now have a chance to get back. You may have missed that opportunity a few months ago, but now it's back. This person that has made themselves available again why probably because some of your friends helped out right so you know the love is there that knight of cups you got to get out of this page mentality because then they're just going to think this this guy just wants to flirt and that's all he wants all he wants is somebody to flirt with text with you know or she they're thinking you know you've got somebody else and so I feel as though they're thinking or you're thinking, I guess this is never going to amount beyond texting and flirting, maybe at work, maybe at school, amongst friends, it never, social media, it's like it's never goes beyond that. The love is there. You feel very passionate about them. You want something, you know, that's going to move you forward together, but you have to get out of that page of wands mentality. And you know what? Like, be that king of pentacles. I got my shit together. Look at that. I got my throne. I got my shit together. I know I've been single for a long time. That don't mean shit. Right? Just don't be a little, don't, just don't be too obnoxious about it, okay? Don't be, like, stuck up and, you know, like you're too good for them because then they really don't want that. Come on. With the lover's card, singles, Gemini. You got to go in on right here last week of august first week of september get out of your head don't be cocky don't be obnoxious you are definitely coming together with someone there this is someone that you missed out an opportunity on building on starting something with it is whatever this is from your past that has blocked you whatever this may be that has blocked you you need to release it or you're going to continue being single for who knows how long until when until you get out of your head let me get a love oracle before i move on to couples maybe next reading you'll be watching my couples video because hey you're not single anymore hey you made that leap of faith you just decided to talk to them and ask them out and you've got on a few dates so let's see what advice, overall advice, do you have for my straight up single Geminis? Come on now. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. So how you are being seen because you haven't moved forward, is like you're this player, this flirt. You're not interested in more than flirting and texting and maybe sexting, I don't know. But if you don't make your move, if you don't ask your friends for help, if you don't show some genuine interest in this person because you're so fearful of the past repeating itself, you're so fearful 
of being like your mother, your father, the way they were in their marriage, let it go. That isn't your only example of what a relationship should feel like. If you need professional help, I always encourage it. Please seek professional help. So that was your reading, Single Geminis. I'm going to move on to Couple Geminis and see what is going on with couples. What is going on with coupled up Geminis for last week of August, first week of September? What do they have going on here? Geminis, coupled up, married, coupled up, and in-betweeners. Maybe just recently broke up, contemplating going back and forth. Maybe you're in the process of trying to fix things and get back together. What is going on with coupled up Geminis? Last week of August, first week of September. This could be the one. You are already with that person, with that partner. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So what's stopping you? <laughs> there we go. One more card for Gemini. Coupled up, serious relationship committed, married, and you in-betweeners that don't know which reading to take a look at. Okay, so this could be the one along with which card? Come on now. One more card. You deserve love. Okay, Gemini, so earlier this month I had quite a few readings that I felt that the singles and the couples were very meshed and meshed intertwined. I felt as though it just became one big huge love reading instead of two different readings, singles and couples. I'm feeling that is the case here as well. You deserve love, you are lovable, and this could be the one. So if you have a love interest, if you are dating someone in a serious relationship you've if some of you've been dating or seeing the same person for years and it's like you're still dating air quotes yes i just air quoted that like how do you date for 10 years how do you date for 15 years how are you not living together or in a commit much more committed relationship how are you not married i mean if that was your agreement then cool I'm not judging but if something's been holding you back remember that you deserve love you are lovable if you go into every single relationship like this is only going to be temporary because I'm not going into a serious relationship or they're not going to want a serious relationship for me you know then then that's exactly what it's going to be nothing is ever going to amount to anything serious the thing here gemini is that the person you're currently with or that you're thinking of being more serious with this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so let's clarify this yep you're guarded that card always comes out for you gemini's you're guarded with money you're guarded with your heart. You want to be grounded. Uh, you want new beginnings. You want to put an end to this. Oh my goodness. With this queen of cups, four of pentacles, and the death card. So yes, this could be the one. You just don't know how to move forward with them. How to get out of stagnant the stagnancy and I feel as though the stagnancy is beyond just your relationship it's your life I feel like maybe it's your whole life you're feeling that things are a bit stagnant it's not just it's not just in the relationship so if you're getting pressured from your partner if you're getting pressured from your family your friends like are we doing this or not like we've been dating for five years or why aren't we living together? Or um, how much longer do we need to date in order to be considered exclusively dating, right? Like they've just been like a love interest and nothing more. And they're wondering, well, are they serious about me or not? 
And so this nine of swords, it did come out sideways. I'm going to take it both ways. There are nightmares here about the fact that you realize this could be the one. And then there are some of you who realize, okay, I got to stop. I got to stop with the anxiety. I got to let it go. I got to, I got to let go of this anxiety and just finally freaking make a decision as to what I need to do. However, you are keeping your emotions to yourself. Yes, you do want a new beginning. You know that this could be the one, but you're so guarded. You're clinching so tight to those pentacles. I mean, they virtually form a shield around your heart, around your mind, around your feet, like cement shoes. You can't go anywhere. Every time I read for Geminis, so I must have a Gemini that I'm always connecting with that has this ideal of can't be in a committed relationship, can't be in a serious relationship until I've got my finances in order, until I've got this or that in order. But your relationship or your perception with money is toxic, Gemini. You put more effort, more thought into, you put more effort and more thought into your finances than you do in your own love life relationships. I don't know what it is, your connection with money, you're thinking that maybe you feel as though you need to provide more, maybe you feel that they need to provide more, maybe you're hesitant on moving forward with someone because they don't make as much money as you do, right? Like there are some females that don't necessarily want to be the breadwinner. They want their man to be the breadwinner. They want their man to be more successful or vice versa. There are some men that perhaps they're still in school and they're like, we can't get married. I'm not done with graduate school. I'm not done with, you know, whatever it is they're going to school for. And it's going to take another year or two and you're like, but babe, it's been like four years. Right? So at the end of the day, there needs to be some truth revealed in order to take control of your life, of this relationship. And you'll come to that reality. You'll come to the idea of, okay, maybe I have put way too much weight, way too much thought into the financial aspect of this relationship when there's more to that than this. So you deserve love. And the sooner that you realize that, Gemini, the sooner you can charge ahead and say, yes, baby, we both deserve love. Look at that 10 of cups. Come on now. You are with a per with, for some of you, you are with the partner that you're supposed to be with, but you're not taking that risk. You're not taking the chance because you need to take a little bit more time to love yourself more, love yourself enough Look at that. And the Ace of Cups came out. Love yourself enough to say, damn it. Of course I deserve love. Why the hell have I been feeling stuck? Why am I bound to this idea of money and not being able to move forward? Own your truth. When you accept your truth and your reality, you are able to move forward. You deserve love, so you have been in the relationship that you're supposed to be in, and it's not going anywhere. You've been dating, right? Dating, air quotes. <laughs> dating, seeing each other, maybe just living with each other for like 10 years and not, you know, not going anywhere beyond that. But you're about to have a second opportunity to make these wishes a reality. To be able to come in and realize, look yourself in the mirror and say, yes, damn it. I do deserve love. I know that this is the one. What the hell have I been doing putting this shit on hold? Why has my life been the hanged man? But the hanged man in reverse is that you've taken enough, enough, more than enough time to really think about it, to really realize your truth and to go forward victoriously what awaits you 
lots of love, success, victory, happy life, happy wife, happy home, happy children, all of the above, whatever it is that you're striving for, Gemini. But you have to let go of the past, the past emotions of there are some past emotions when it comes to uh, relationship not working out, when it comes to um, past examples of what a marriage or a relationship should have been like, when it comes to perhaps some of you that got married young, like in high school, and you know, you're like 40s and 50s now, and the fact that you got married in high school scares the shit out of you to get married again right and you're like come on now honey it's been 30 plus years i think you could get married now so let's close this out with a love oracle for gemini couples last week of august first week of september what do we have going on <laughs> consider your foundation seems appropriate right consider your foundation you are being asked to look at how committed you are to love so how committed are you, Gemini? Like really, really. Are you more committed to the dollar, to the pentacle, to the dime, to the nickel? Or are you committed to this foundation, right? This idea of the happily ever after. Wanting two people to come together, to stay together, to really move forward together. It's almost as though I feel for some of you have been together for a really long time, like a really long time. And, and there's, there hasn't been much progression over the years. Spirit is saying now's the time. Now is the time to let go of whatever fears from your past, whatever financial fears you were having, because if you continue living in fear, you are blocking your own abundance. You worry about money, you're going to worry about money the rest of your life. Because that worry creates more worry and more worry. So Gemini, you deserve love and this could be the one. You already know. You already know, Gemini. I bet, I bet for some of you this is just reinforcing what you already know. Right, Gemini? So if this resonated, please give it a thumbs up like share subscribe um, all my information is in the description box below if you'd like to book a personal reading you can also find me on instagram where i do post daily i try to post daily um, and currently i am going to be doing some reading giveaways for my birthday because my birthday is next weekend so labor day weekend we'll be giving away i'll be giving away quite a few readings so come check me out on instagram at virgoangeltarot.com and then let me know let me know what you're grateful for. That's what we're doing. Gratitude giveaway. Talk to you soon. Bye.